Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel and PGA Tour 2K23 today. We are going to be taking a look at the latest course by Nor07. This one is Socorro Ridge Golf Club. Now I know that Monkey Flop has done a video himself on this course. I haven't checked it out myself yet because I want to go into this not having any um, prior knowledge to uh, how the course is laid out and what to expect in it. I do like to go in absolutely uh blind i suppose technically you say now nor did send me over uh some screenshots of the course um one of them i will more than likely have used for a thumbnail but the course looks absolutely fantastic from these screenshots so i genuinely cannot wait to get stuck into this one and see what he's got in store for us this time so taking a look at our course conditions as we do play all of these reviews and playthroughs on default we have got fair and fair, fair fairways fair and fairways if i can get my words out it's only to start uh, we've got normal greens and we've got fast green speeds weather's clear time of day is done it's a par 72 and we are going to be playing from the tips which are the black tees at 7626 yards we've got four uh, pin locations we're going to be playing from pin set one and uh, yeah i'm a little bit late getting into this one as well actually as you can see up the top there it has just got over 2000 plays already um and quite highly rated as well as you can see it's four and a half stars in game and 67 likes as well um or favorites should i say um so it seems to be getting very very good feedback so far but again as i did mention a moment ago the screenshots look absolutely amazing so yeah really can't wait to get into this one so looking at our distances from the black tees, we've got uh, our standard sort, our standard configuration for the par 72. We got uh, four par threes, two on the front, two on the back. Same for the par fives, four, two on the front, and two on the back, and then the rest all par fours. I think I said those numbers right. Anyway, um, got a with the par threes. We got one that's sort of in the mid range there, hole number four. That's 177 yards. That's playing, and the rest are all. If I can see one, two, uh, all 200 plus yards with the shortest of those being hole number 12 at just over 204. Um, in terms of the par fives, they seem to be quite on the lengthy side. We've got uh, all, four, is it all four of them? All four of them. No, sorry. Uh, three of the four are all over 600 yards. Again, as I always say, though, it does depend on the elevation. These could be playing a lot shorter if they are downhill. But the shortest of the par fives being hole number 11, 594 yards. The longest being hole number 13 at 649. Um, and then kind of in between them with hole number 9 at 616 and hole number 2 at 636. When it comes to the par fours, then we've got two that I can see that look like they are potentially reachable but again it does depend on the elevation if they are playing uphill they will be a bit long but hole number three is playing 333 and the other one i saw then hole number 17 at 313 yards so both potentially you can get on them in one it also depends on what way the, the hole is rooted as well there could be obstacles of trees and such in the way that uh, make that not the wisest of decisions to make but we shall see once we get down onto the first tee so let's jump right down there now Okay, so here we are down on the first tee, and it's a nice uh, it, it, dawn is the time of day, I think I said it was. So a uh, nice shimmering light off uh, there on the right-hand side. And as you can see, there is a bridge winding across. I'll have a quick, quick gander around. Um, yeah, I believe that bridge is one of the screenshots that Nora did send me. Let's just zip on around really quickly, as fast as we can. Pop it up to the driver and see a building off. Buildings, should I say, off in the background. And... Uh, I do believe I saw that in one of the screenshots also, but here is our clubhouse area over here, and very nice. And what have we got here? We have a practice facility here, driving range. Heading down towards those buildings. I'm not sure if it's like if it's part of a city or just maybe it's a big hotel, possibly. Could be. I'm not sure. We'll see if we can take a closer look when we do get over that direction, hopefully on the course. If it does route us that way. But uh and we have our road off in the background there coming in from unfortunately we can't get down there to see if there's any sort of tunnel networks i don't think there is i think that is the edge of the plot off over there um but wrapping around over to again say possibly what is a hotel um but so far from what uh, the height we can get up at anyway on console uh yeah i'm liking the look of this the rock work around this green over here and running along the edge of the fairway it looks like we will be coming from that direction possibly yeah just going by the fairway itself and so far bunkering looks pretty good oh we have more more stuff over here what's uh 
maybe a complex for visitors to stay if they are if they're not over where is it gone where is it gone oh, if they're not staying over there and um, there is right there is actually text on the side of that building so we'll have a look because I, I don't recognize that building but let's get this round underway uh, so we're kicking it off anyway with a par 4 441 yards wind isn't too bad eight miles per hour on the face we've defaulted onto a three wood three bunkers garden this fairway on the right side hopefully my swing is not too bad today and it's not too bad we started off with a perfect send it straight down there and yeah i believe by the looks of it i'm not sure i can't remember the is it a step the step theme or desert theme it's one of the two um i don't think i played on this theme for a while actually but uh, like the so far so it shouldn't be too much of the way of tree coverage but uh, oh one thing i always forget to look at let um, me have a little look okay so far not seeing any uh out of bounds on the course there may be some a little bit later on we shall just have to remember to keep an eye on that but um okay so we got a, a good slope here if we do go a little bit left hopefully we can filter back down towards the hole doesn't look like it's too close that pin location towards that uh, pin but if you do get below the hole anyway it shouldn't be too much of an issue 142 in is roughly what we've got we'll pop that up to a 150 one nine iron in with that wind Ooh, a little fast so we may get a closer look at that red slope i think we will be landing right on the top of it watch the ball it will not come back down <laughs> of course it won't that's going to be a difficult pull and the green speed is 176 so quite on the fast side if i remember correct the no 187 was the old the old fastest i think it's is it 192 i can't remember what the actual fastest green speed is now I must actually go with, just mess around the designer and have a look. I genuinely can't remember. We are going to have to put this right out here. This is a big break. Not a bad put line. I don't think that's turning as much as we want. Or is it? Is it? Oh, just out a little bit too far. Decent effort, though, for the, the size of the break. And I think I want to play this more on a green line. And good call, save par. So yeah, not too bad. I think maybe I I was thinking at first when I did see that maybe it's a, it's a little bit too close to that red line slope, but it's it's not filtering. It's not going to run you off the green. At least I don't I don't think it would. It's still still not bad at all. So second hole, first of the par five, six hundred and twenty two yards. So I don't think we're going to get here in in two but we are once again defaulted onto a three wood that's obviously just the, the way that the waypoints are set out when the hole was being designed i think we can oh, we're gonna thread the needle here <laughs> this is a heavily heavily guarded fairway but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna class this as being unfair because it is a par five and unless you're playing aggressive and what i'm going to try and do anyway try and see if there's an opportunity to get here on two or into should i say uh, we do have the option where we can come up here even if you put a heavy draw or fade on i'd probably recommend a draw to try and filter it up this way um you do have the option anyway you don't have to take driver off the tee but i am going to today slightly fast but we have got a little bit of a left to right wind so Ooh, we're trying to flirt with the light rough but no nope, that's fine stronger winds i'd probably actually go with a three wood there myself and especially if it was any way any way stronger than what it is now it has died right down if it was uh up closer to those double digits i don't think i'd have tried to carry it over the uh over those bunkers but no we're not going to get there in two a good tailwind actually a good good tailwind and yeah, I think this is definitely reachable in two. It'd be a big gamble. Now, if you do hit it faster or slow, you are going to be wet. But I do like the planting of the grass. As I've said before, I do like that around the edges of the water. It just kind of breaks up that hard sort of transition from the from the grass into, into the water. But again, we have got more bunkers to contend with here. Ooh, we got a perfect. That felt like it was going to be slow. But it should be fine. Oh, flip with the light rough again. 
<laughs> and potentially those two bunkers as well but that's going to leave us 113 in so we'll take that off a pitch shot i i hope um that is one thing that they bring back for the next game is uh letting us be able to uh was it 20 tdc 2019 i think was the last game where you could turn off the the club selection and it would always default you onto a driver and you could just set up your own shot 100 percent rather than defaulting you um now, ooh, now this is close to uh close to the back of the green here but it's no major slopes there but we could come up short run back off here but the rough will save us before we hit those rocks down into the water so i like those few little rocks there just uh breaking up onto the water that's the term i want to use anyway um 118 roughly i think actually to be honest a little bit of deloft with the sand wedge i'm hoping we'll get us in there a little bit fast and 102 percent hopefully we'll get us over that slope Oh, it'll get us over the green. I put, <laughs> I put a little bit too much deal off on that. Whoops. He is not happy. All right, first our first splash shot of the day. Hopefully don't go too far past. Otherwise, we are in bogey territory for a par five. That is fine. So unfortunately, just going to be a par. But as I did mention at the start of the hole, that is... Potentially reachable in two if the wind is in your favour. Okay, so nice view off this tee. The water, the water to the right, all the rocky mounds and such like that to our left. And this is our first potentially drivable par four. We will end up with a very long putt. And it's quite well guarded around the green area as well. Oh, I was hoping to get a little bit more power on it, but a little bit faster to give it an extra yard or two. Not going to get there in one today. But we'll leave us with no more, just a short little flop on. 26 yards. We'll chip it instead, actually. It's running uphill, so it should sit fairly quick. I know the greens are fast. As well as that swing. But nope, that's fine again. Um, we should be tapping in for a birdie. Our first of the round take us to one under par. And our first par three coming up now. I think this is the shortest. This is the shortest of the four par threes. At 177 yards up, four feet. So about 178 is going to play. We'll take... Oh no, I like this. If we do go a little bit right, we can feed back down towards the hole but we also have got this sort of little bailout area over here if you do end up going over that way the wind is favor in that direction also nicely framed as well with the different light tones the sun off off there in the distance and then we're in the shadows oh sit quick is it gonna turn oh no we went off i didn't see that a little bit of a bit of a slope there I think we are just on the green fringe, so I think I'm actually going to put this. Oh, is it enough? Is it enough? Oh! <laughs> Catches the lip, a good putt. Would have been nice if that had it dropped in. But we'll stay at one under par for now. As we hit par four, fifth. Again, nicely framed with the trees here. And slightly less shadowy area, but the, the sun off in the background. We are defaulted onto driver this time and well guarded on the left and the right. If you do come up a little bit shorter if the wind is against you. But again, plenty of room around here to land at anyway, provided you're swinging well. Oh, what a perfect. I would have liked the fast there. That's potentially gone for that far bunker on right now we're fine we might no we're okay thought maybe we might have trickled into the light rough a bit there but and once again i haven't looked no so far it looks like there's no ob at all on the course but i do like this green it's quite a depending on the pin location quite a small target to be aiming for but it's not too bad here we can go a little bit long try and spin it back 
but uh, I love the rock work around it and then all the, all the grass work coming up out of the, the water and around the edge and then our bridge off over to our next set of tee boxes over there to head back off up that direction right so 128 in yeah we're going to be lofting and spinning the gap wedge there we go a little bit fast a little bit overpowered it probably won't spin back but it should sit quick almost immediately just immediately just took a one and a very very half yeah basically a little half bounce i think i want to just play this straight for 12 foot i'm gonna turn back oh no it didn't a little bit more on the right to left there so if i took another few seconds to take a little bit of a better look at that probably would have come away with birdie there But moving along, 430 yards. Oh, now this bottleneck's here. Do we want to go for it? It's ridging. It's got a ridge. It's got a little bit of a hollow. What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, gully, I suppose you could say, in the, in the fairway there. The way it's dipping down from the side and in the center. So if we can aim around about there. We'll put a little bit of fade. That's the wrong button. We'll put a little bit of fade on just to bring it around with the wind. Hopefully avoid that bunker on the right. That should be fine. Or, or will it? Just about down that right side. And we're up on the flat it looks like. No, it is still above the feet. And bunker, or bunker, green guarded by two bunkers. There we go, got that one right. Uh, but we have got a little bit of a safety net in behind here. If we do go a little long, we can hopefully come back. Wind is angling slightly behind us, 143. So I think we'll keep the pitching wedge on, put a bit of loft on it. And some attack angle, hopefully. And sit it fairly quick, decent strike. It's tracking pretty good for the hole. That'll do. We're inside 10 feet, 8 feet to be precise, minimal break. So it's just about getting it there, and we do. Alright, so second and final par 3 of the front 9 coming up for lucky number 7. And it's a lengthy one, a 242, going to play about 241. And that, ooh, oh, that is a narrow green. That is narrow. Uh, oh, I think we'll just aim slightly right, try and let the wind, maybe the slight fast, bring it back into the left. I don't know what way this is going to play out, but we shall see. There's the fast. It's trying to turn back now. If we can get over that initial slope, we do. So we're up on the level. Played that beautifully. That could have gone very bad. Oh, wait, hold on. No, we're still on. We're still on. That was going to pick up pace there. He's smiling. He's happy. Still a decent bit of break on it. Come up, turn. Get there, get there, get there. Yes, played that hole excellently. And that will bring us to three under par. Final par four coming up for number eight on the front nine. 460. Up 16, wind is trying to die down again. All right, so we got options here. We can take it down the right, we can take it down the left. I think today we will try and take it down the left. The wind, wind is favoring that. We'll have to put a decent bit of draw on it though, just to counteract its slight left to right angle. That's a little bit too fast, but it should wrap around. Just about enough. Hold on, we could still be in the light rough here. No, we're fine. Fairway's fairly level. Very nice planting so far as well. That I can see. So guarded with three bunkers. Although they shouldn't be an issue. Not as narrow a green, but still quite narrow. At the uh, at the front, if you do have a pin location down here, but again, if you go a bit long, you can come back down. Decent size falls from it. Have to be mindful of that at the back right. We can filter off. 137, gonna play about 143. Uh so that'd be pitch and wedge. Yeah, where are we going to spin this? Just with that tailwind. 
I felt like that was slow again. Did push it though. Oh, we're definitely going to take that little run off, are we? Yeah, it's got it. Just off onto the fringe again. Do we want to chip? Yeah, we'll chip this one, I think. Didn't turn. Gone a little bit further past than I would have liked as well. So a little knee knocker for par. But we do get it there. And our second and final par five of the front nine coming up to wrap up the front nine. And this one measuring 607 yards down 11 feet. Wind is good to get a good distance off this tee. And then it's going to be favorable heading towards the green. Kind of narrow. I so say if you have a good strong tailwind, it might be worth teeing it high and letting it fly. See if we can get down to that second fairway. But we're just going to play over here. Not as far, I don't think. Four mile per hour wind, but reasonably guarded as well. The the two bunkers here on the right, one on the left. And, oh there, that's not good. Is it going to stay in the fairway? It should stay in the fairway. But definitely wiped out all chances to get in there too now. So we're going to have to see what options we're left with now. 338 left to the pin. Um... We're on a five wood. I'm not three, but it's not going to carry that. But we can put a little bit of draw on here. Just not swing as fast this time. Hopefully that should be okay. Oh, the sun is blinded. But yeah, that's just fine. Should leave us maybe a pitch shot into the green now. Oh no, a little bit longer actually. 116. I'm going to be taking a wedge in. A sand wedge to be precise, put a little bit of spin on. I'll leave that fast again. Counter the push. And that will do me nicely in and around about 10 feet left to the left to the hole. Very nice view there. As the shot was coming up to a, a stop. With the, the light red the, the sun reflecting. And we drop that in for a birdie. Take us four under par through the front nine. A very nice start to the course. Let's see what the back has in store as we head back towards the clubhouse. Oh, we do have crowds on the uh, on the course. It's been very quiet for the front nine, but they are active on the back. So hole number 10, par four to kick it off. 458 yards split fairway. We are defaulted onto three woods. So again, options, you can lay it up. Or you can be greedy like me and try and get over to the second one. Wind permitting, we are going straight for that bunker. Yep. Ooh, straight in. It hasn't plugged though. So there's our buildings off to. Oh no, it's not. Actually, I thought that was text on the side of uh, on the side of the building. It's actually windows. Whatever way I was looking at it earlier on, it looked like it was uh, it looked like it was uh, letters. But let's see if we can get up onto the green in regulation. Over two bunkers, well guarded, front side and back. Um, 156, 158. It's not actually a bad lie in the bunker. We might be able to get there. It'll just overpower it slightly. Ooh, it's not turning, but it should hold the green anyway. Not yet, more than comfortably going to hold that green. Trying to run itself back to the hole. So, decent recovery from the bunker. Not too much in the way of break for the for this putt. And that should be good. And it is. So, I'll kick off the back with a birdie. First par 5 coming up now for number 11. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's measuring 580 yards, so potentially reachable. We have got a little creek, a river, stream, whichever you prefer to call it, running down the right side. Two bunkers, slap bang in the middle of the fairway in the landing zone. It's one I don't like. I don't mind seeing the odd time, but I don't like seeing it done or overly done throughout a course. But first fairway in fairway bunkers that I've seen so far. Um, I think we'll take it down this side here. So it looked like the fairway was feeding left to right. That is going a little bit right because I've just pushed it. Now oh, we should be fine up. 
Very nice bits of planting along the stream there. The little waterfall as well. And what's that up on the hill here? Oh, it's just a tr oh, it's a dead tree with a, a bird nest on it. Just just caught my eye there. All right, let's see. Oh yes, we can hopefully maybe. It's only up six feet. Let's see if we can overpower it. Let's be greedy again. I do it so you don't have to. 104% slide fast. That might get there. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> good tailwind on its side. There's a, there's a good chance you can get there in two. But it was worth a gamble. At most, we're just coming away with the with the rough. Um, so we're left with a flop shot. I think we'll pop that up to the sand wedge because we are kind of dug down in it here. Comfortably on. Now, if it can sit nice and quick, bit of a run out. But we do... Oh, it's trying to turn back. We do have a birdie opportunity again. Not too much in the way of break. And it's good. So back to back birdies to kick off the back nine. First par three of the back nine coming up now for number 12. And I think this is the longest. No, this is not the longest. The mid range one. 207. Going to play about 203. Over water. And uh, to be honest, anywhere in the green, I'll be happy. We've got a little bit of a bowl here. So don't want to be playing in wet weather. That will get waterlogged. Uh, you can see a runoff at the back of the green, feeding down towards that one lone bunker. Uh, well, yeah, more class. This is a, a kind of a fairway bunker. It's a little off in between fairway, greenside bunker. But uh, that one bunker at the back, I see a runoff guarding that. So 203, I said. I'll play the five iron in, a little slow. We might be heading for that ball. Now we're going to the right of it. So this, depending on how the slopes are, could be a very tricky putt to read. We might be all right. Yeah, that's actually not too bad where we ended up. 32 feet. Is that enough? Oh, that turned a lot more than I thought it was going to. But... Not too bad, all the same. Should still come away with par here. No! <laughs> I always say, don't count your chickens before they hatch. I spoke too soon. And we are picking up our first bogey of the round. That should have been a par. That's a put I should have been making all day. Let's see if we can claw it back here with the final par 5 of the of the, the course. I was about to say the hole. Uh, for hole number 13... And it's measuring 601 yards. A little bit of a headwind in front uh, coming at us. But depending, it is sli playing slightly downhill. We might be able to get there in two. We should be able to take it. Hopefully, cut it over those bunkers. A little bit of overpower. 104%. Hit us slow, though. I think we're going bunkers again. That one very large tree off the tee there. No, we have made it. Okay, that lovely. I thought that was going <laughs> going a completely different direction when I saw that slow swing. Three fifteen, still not going to get there though. Um, even trying to take driver off the deck, not worth it. Heavily guarded with those bunkers on the right hand side. So I think we'll just lay it up over here. Uh oh, that's quite a good swing line on a nice tempo, but we are going to be in the rough, I think. Yeah, and it's the heavy stuff as well. Should have put a little bit of draw on there, to be honest. Right, 70 yards left. Let's play a sand wedge in. That should be okay. It's tracking back pretty good. Good recovery from the heavy rough. I believe it's pretty much a tap-in birdie, but I did miss quite an easy put a moment ago. So we'll wait until we hear it drop in <laughs> and that will claw that drop shot back so that is the par fives out of the way we got two par fours then break it up with the final par three and then two par fours to finish up the round so bit of a narrow fairway here on this one so challenging have we got no we haven't that's another hell another hole i don't like playing fairways on other holes but let's see if we can take it over this uh this area here 
Oh, should be all right with that tailwind. Again, blinded by the sun. So apologies if you're watching in low light. But do make it through the rough into the fairway. And ball slightly above the feet on an uphill. That tree is pretty much our aim and marker. Very long and narrow bunker wrapping around the back of the green. And two small ones just guarding that front. But very attackable pin. 89, going to play about 93. So we'll keep it on 88 for a pitch shot in. A little bit of spin. It might run out with that wind. Oh, that was a bit slappy. It's trying to turn. Oh, that actually... If it stays, if it stays... Trying to take a bit of a slope there. But otherwise, not too bad of an outcome. Little to no break. I think we'll just play pretty much right edge on this. Oh, wow. I say little to no break. That really turned. So, just going to be a par. But we are still six under. Unfortunately, that one single bogey at the moment. Tarnishing the scorecard. Hole number 15. Tailwind definitely getting over there. I might go for it now. It is playing slightly uphill. Again, we we'll try for a little bit of overpower, but very well guarded with these tricky little bunkers on the waste areas to both the left and the right. Pretty narrow on the fairway. 105% slight fast. Needed to turn just a little bit more. Nope, that's not getting there. I was going to say, I prefer to be in the bunker than the heavy rough. Might hopefully have a better lie percentage. And we do pretty good, actually. Uh, 86 to 94. Leaving us 138 yards. Going to play about, what, 143. All depends. 9 iron. We should hopefully be able to get a 9 iron up and out of this bunker here. And we do. Came out pretty clean. Are we paying it? No, we're not. We can't. I thought we were paying a visit to that. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, we are. <laughs> thought we were carrying it there for a second. And I was like, oh, no, it kicked back. So second splash shot of the day. Slightly further away this time. Oh, that pushed horribly off to the right. And I didn't see the slope there feed downhill. A little bit of a double break. Potential bogey coming up. I did. I only said it a moment ago. That one single bogey tarnishing the scorecard. I shouldn't have said anything. That's not going to turn back because I wasn't paying attention to the left to right. So yes, we are picking up another bogey. So the course can bite, especially if you're not paying attention. Let's see if we can claw that drop shot back with this fourth and final par three of the, the round at hole number 16. It's a lengthy one though, 245 down 18 feet. So I've got to play about 239 with that wind, give or take, be roughly 233. Um, we can run it up though. Pretty tricky green to get at. We can come up short here though and run it up. Um, what will a four iron do? I don't think a four iron is going to get there, so we will put a bit of draw. Take a couple of yards off on the five wood. And then just proceed to go and do that. That's not good. Come on, kick out, kick out. Right, we're back out into the heavy rough anyway. Hopefully we'll be able to see what we're doing. Not really. L2 ain't really helping us all that much as well. Um, we can kind of see. Alright, not bad. So, just be mindful if you do go to the left of that green, that your view may be, to some degree anyway, obstructed. So, just to part with the final par three, two par fours. Let's try and pull that drop shot back, get us back to six under par, and maybe, hopefully, make a seven under. So, this one possibly reachable if you do have a good wind. We are only on a three wood at the moment. We do have water off to the left, and... Big horseshoe bunker guarding the front of the green and the two to the right. But I think, yeah, the wind is comfortable. I'm going for this. And hopefully if we can touch down on the fairway and it doesn't bounce too aggressively, it looks like we have got 
decent slope here. It's kind of level actually on the fairway, but running up on the green, so hopefully it'll kill the pace. A little bit on the slow side, but the wind is taking it back. 102%, let's chase it in. Is it going to have enough steam in it to get up that slope? It's trying, but it's going to feed off to the left and come all the way back down. Oh, big slope, it's not holding. Not holding the green, but yep, you can definitely get there comfortably in one. A lot of spin on this. And chip it up. That will do. And we should be clawing back that drop shot. Bring us back to six under par. And to wrap things up, the final par four, number 18, over water. 420 down six feet nice five mile per hour tailwind and again we are on three woods so we get, we've also got options here we can come down the right hand side although it's a little bit more of a gamble you've got a lot of water here and then the two bunkers and if you have a strong tailwind potential is still ru outrun the fairway or run out of fairway should i say and possibly end up in the water off the far side of it or you can come down here a little bit more of a narrow area as well but less of a risk with all the rough. But I think we'll be... I'll be stupid today and go down this side. Uh oh. <laughs> I did say I'd be stupid. <laughs> and splash. In we go. Where's it going to drop us? Alright, not too bad. We're still going to be dropping in the heavy rough. But... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's not giving us a ridiculous area to drop in so I think we'll just we'll, we'll have to just take the medicine and go from here we can still get up and down for par though I like that there actually beside the green very nice little bit of work there the rocks and the tree and a bit of planting right 120 121 mm -hmm. horrible lie percentage um, That might be okay. Let's make sure not to hit a slow this time. Oh no. Where's it going? Oh. <laughs> I thought that was just gonna cannon its way over to the other part the other side back into the water again. Little fortunate there. <coughs> Excuse me. A little tickle in my throat all of a sudden. Okay. Oh, it's another. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I suppose we did go into the water, right? Let's try and not make it a double. I would just take a single back to foot. Oh, okay. I just disconnected my controller. And uh, something, wrong, something wrong with the charging port on this. Actually, if I turn the controller at the wrong angle, it just knocks it off. But uh, unfortunate finish to. Uh, to the round with that bogey there but very very good course nice risk award shots throughout a very nice <coughs> again excuse me uh aesthetic aesthetics and visual visuals throughout the course very very nice um i do i do like the options that are given around the course but it, there was cut there was that one with the two bunkers in the fairway i was kind of like uh oh are, are we are we going to see this again but I, I think it was just that one hole so uh, again i don't mind that um but absolutely solid course great challenge if the winds were up higher i probably I'd, I'd have played that a lot different i did mention that throughout uh, a few of the holes um that definitely you you do need to uh you're not taking driver off the tee all the time so i'm definitely definitely going to give that a favorite and certainly going to rate that five nice challenge um as i say the the risk reward i really enjoyed that where it's like will i won't i will i won't i and uh, with the options given where you might just end up in some rough or you could be going like i did splash into the water if not facing some bunkers but absolutely solid course there from nor 07 that is socorro ridge golf club really really enjoyed that five under is what i got myself i'm gonna have to go and check out monkey flops uh video now see how he fared over there let me see fairways and regulation 78.5 percent greens and regulation 66.6 .6 and 139 puts per hole if you are not one of the just over 2,000 people to have played it 
I highly, highly recommend going out and giving this one a play. You will not be disappointed. Hopefully, you fare a little bit better than me and your wind, your wind conditions are also good. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to leave this one. This has been Socorro Ridge Golf Club by Nor07. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to drop it a like. And if you have not done so already or you are just brand new to the channel, do consider subscribing and I will talk to you all in the next one. Until then, take care. Have yourselves a good one and bye for now.